Now the pitch to Anderson. Fastball driven in the air toward right center field. Chasing back is Finley on the track. Reaches out. Can't get it. Kicks it away. It's rolling toward the corner. Anderson around second on his way to third. Finley tracks it down. Anderson is being waved around. He's coming to the plate. The relay throw. He slides. Save. It's an inside the park home run. And it ties the game. Marlon Anderson with an inside the park home run. He is shaken up. Jose Molina arguing the call. Mike Sosha out as well. Cameron from first. Three and two to Floyd. Two and two with two out. Floyd ready. Donnelly set. Now the pitch. Swing and a fly ball hit the deep right center field. This is going to win it. Way back. Gone. Over the 371 mark. The Mets win it. A three run homer for Cliff Floyd. And the Mets have won it 5-3 to three in the bottom of the 10th inning. The Mets dugout all out at home plate. Cliff tosses his helmet in the air. He pounces on home plate. And all of his teammates engage him in a group hug as they jump up and down at home plate. The 2-2 got a piece of it. Good, had a good piece of it and actually had a very good swing. Oh, look at this. Here go the sprinklers. The sprinklers have fired just on the infield, but Pedro, soaking wet, has to walk right through it. And we're obviously going to have a delay here. Not a rain delay, a sprinkler delay. And it is beginning to soak the infield grass and a base pass as well. A little grin there for Martinez, <laughs> who is not leaving the diamond yet. But Piazza says, let's get out of here. Let's go get dry. One ball, one strike. I'm just going to go out on a, a limb and say that this is, uh, thus far in this young season, this is the biggest give up at bat. Oh, and rips one into right center field. Take your words back. Up against the wall, and Koo is going to think about a triple and hold with a double. You led me into it. I didn't say a thing. You did. This crowd loves it as they serenade Dai Sung Koo. This is the greatest hit of his career, period, in his well life. David Wright in the dugout for the Mets. Koo fighting back a smile. And it is a perfect bunt by Reyes. Can't do it any better. And now with home plate vacated, Koo's coming to the plate. Safe! Base running by Koo after his double, and the Mets lead now three to nothing. The outfield a step to left against Jacobs. Now the 1 0 from Loiza. Breaking ball hit in the air to deep right field. Back goes Guillen onto the track at the wall. It's out of here! Mike Jacobs hits a three run homer in his first major league at bat. A pinch hit three run homer for Mike Jacobs. His first trip to the plate in the major leagues. And the Washington lead is trimmed to seven to three. Now Majeski with a one one pitch and Woodward hits it on the ground up the middle. Base hit going into center field. Mets are going to win. Williams around third. Scores standing. Chris Woodward has won it in the bottom of the 10th inning. Nine to eight. And the Mets come out of the dugout and rush towards Woodward. They mob him on the grass just to the right of the pitcher's mound. Ooh, a little broken bat and... Oh, oh David Wright! Oh. What a play! Oh. You Are you me. kidding? I like that may be the best I've ever seen. That's a magnificent play by David Wright. Wow! The game tied at one in the bottom of the 11th. The outfield has stepped to left against Woodward. The pitch... And a high fly ball, deep left field. Back goes Klesko, onto the warning track, back at the wall. It's out of here! Chris Woodward with a walk-off two-run pinch hit home run. And the Mets have won the ball game in the bottom of the 11th inning. Woodward hit it over the 371 mark in left center field. He's thrown 121 pitches tonight and still throwing that fastball with life. I've never thrown overthrown ever. What a way to finish. Anton Glavin leaves no doubt 
that he will be strong next year at age 40 in a Met uniform. Not only strong, he'll have that curve ball, the good fastball, he'll pitch inside, he'll change up, and maybe even throw one behind the hitter, Ralph. And, uh, well, that would be a new one right there. <laughs> and his record now, 13 wins and 13 losses. He's through for the year. He closes out at 500 this year. Just about the same as the Mets. Pete Orr. Left center field. Just out off the end of the bat. And Pedro shuts out Atlanta. I'll tell you what. Now Mike Piazza drives one. He out hit right. To the back of Whoa. the bleachers. How fitting on this last weekend. How about that? That'll get the apple up. Boy, Mike Piazza around to rush that ball. Almost hit the key stand sign out there. I said it. Oh, Mike Piazza with a home run. And for Mike, his 19th home run, more than any catcher in the National League for home runs. Here he comes. They, they, they want that Absolutely. 397 now in Mike's career. And he is playing in his 1,529th game in the Major League. The Rockies lead the Mets 11 to 3 and as we go to the eighth inning Gary and the day that always will be known as Mike Piazza day unofficially but very much in every practical sense Willie Randolph keeps Piazza in the game as we imagined he would after that very emotional tribute and he also begins to empty some people off the bench well that'll keep uh, everybody in their seats till the end of this game because Mike is due one more turn at bat here are the changes Jose Offerman who pinch hit stays in the game at second base I don't believe we've seen Offerman in any position other than first base since he joined the Mets but he's playing second now Anderson Hernandez moves from second base to shortstop, and so Jose Reyes has done it. Now Piazza is leaving the field, and Mike DeFelice is coming on to replace him, and Mike will get one more ovation as he walks off the field, so he won't take the final turn at bat. Instead, he'll take this one last curtain call as M Mike Piazza was sent out to his position to start the inning, and then Willie Randolph takes him off the field for one more hand. And he'll be replaced by Mike DeFelice. As he had one more at bat coming, I wonder if that was Mike's choice. Because Willie did talk to Mike in the dugout after that tribute. And you wondered how he could possibly continue when the game is drained as he must have been.